Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be um, trying out some of the new paints from Dina Wakely in her new January 2024 release. So we've got these fabulous new paints which you can see on the left hand side. And this is the first time I'm using them so I wanted to kind of do a bit of a swatch with them and I wanted to see how they held up on um, a just white surface and a craft surface. So I've painted a strip of white gesso down the middle of the page and then I am painting in my swatch of colour and as you can see um, there really isn't much difference between the white and the craft these paints are really really opaque um, which is fabulous like that yellow you can see there's a slight difference with the the craft but not very much and everything else is hardly any difference at all so um, really opaque and they're just such fun colors to have too. This um, brown is gorgeous um, warm color which will fit in really nicely with the um, syrup and so on that's been here. So I was really really pleased I'm so glad I don't usually swatch paints but um, I just as I said wanted to see how it would hold up quite often <coughs> excuse me particularly with yellows you'll find they're quite um, translucent and you need to put a few coats on so I wanted to make sure that these would sort of do what they needed to and transparency because you can see me sticking down here uh, some new transparencies that have just been released too there's lots of figures uh, silhouette faces and some suns and moons in them so I wanted to have a go at popping them in and I had a bit of an idea to have a sort of a fashion page because I remembered these very old stamps from Dina that I had, uh, like they must be nine years old I reckon, um, just beautiful figures. So I thought if I had these, each um, colour could have its own little fashionista next to it. So um, busy stamping them in. And then I'll glue down the transparencies. When I'm gluing down transparencies, I just put um, some glue mostly on the black bits. Where it will dry, it will dry clear, so it doesn't really matter. And the only thing that <laughs> slightly bothered me about this was the um, proportion of size. So the transparencies are slightly smaller than the um, stamped figures, but it, it all works out in the end. Um, so that's not too bad. The great thing about the um, packs of transparencies, you get um, two sheets of each, so I had a few extra figures I could put in. I did end up um, stamping in a figure at the last one too, um, just to sort of even it up a little bit. So once I'd finished this, I decided I wanted to put my um, quote, I suppose, across the middle of my page. Uh, I figure because it's kind of a fashion-y type page that I'd use the word style so um, as I had you know the uh, quite large swatches I thought these letters from the Dina Wakely alphabet set would work in quite well so I'm just going in with again white gesso and um, stenciling in over the top of both the transparencies and over the painted images and you can see it works quite well I just did a brief heat over the top it dried pretty quickly anyway but just be aware heat and transparencies can make things curl so you want to make sure that you um, don't heat it too long. To help the white stand out just a little bit I'm going around all my letters with a black pen and giving a bit of an outline. I'm leaving a little bit of a white border though so it still stands out from the background. And I suppose the main reason for that is just to make a little bit of a difference between the little white stripes in between each of the stripes of colour. So you can sort of see what's, what's the um, letter and, and what's part of the design. I'm also going around each of my letters and giving them a shadow with a warm grey colour. And while I quite like that, I just wanted something to connect. It was still very separate, so I wanted something to connect through the middle. Um, so I thought I would be very brave <laughs> and try and do some cursive writing across the middle of my page. So um, we've got style and expression of imagination written across the middle. So once I'd written it out and I was happy with it, I'm just going back and thickening up my lines a little bit. 
um, particularly on the down strokes. So it again, helps stand out a little bit. And I suppose the inspiration for this page came from um, watching Instagram, sort of things that come up in there, particularly um, card makers where they put like masking tape across the middle of the page and then do some watercolours over the top of it and do the writing in the middle. I think that's what was sort of sticking in my head when this was happening. So that's kind of where this page came from, as well as being a really good way of testing out some new paint colours. So once I've finished doing my um, cursive across the middle, I'm just going back in with my white and doing a, again a little bit of a highlight just to help pop it out from the background. And it's very, very subtle. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but in the close-up when you see it, it, it does help pop those out from the background somewhat. And it's just a very simple way to put the focus on your text. So you can see as we do the close-up here, those beautiful images, those um, gorgeous, gorgeous colours and how they stand up against both the gesso and the craft and then adding transparencies over the top. So I hope you have a go at doing something similar. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.